all you beautiful people out there in YouTube land. This is Lee. This is my very first vlog. I'm actually heading down to Los Angeles to go to an art show to show some support for one of my buddies. Yeah, he actually has some artwork out there. And we'll see what everyone else is doing. Even though I'm stuck in this traffic. I gotta admit, it's a beautiful day. Okay, I'm here. Let's go and see what the hell's going on. I kind of park where I'm not supposed to park, but fuck it. Let's go. Okay, I'm. Oh boy, I hope I'm in the right area. Scott here. I think I'm gonna be at the art show. I think this is this place down here. I just ran into a couple people and they said, uh, actually doing a photo shoot for uh, some like graffiti art it's kind of cool so uh, let's go and see hey how you doing I guess nodding your head violently means you're okay I think this is it What's up, what's up? I like it. It's nice and classy. Oh, yeah. You gotta take your image with you wherever you go. So whatever your presentation is on your website, it has to be at the show as well. You just can't come in bright colors and like, well, that's not really you, and I see your whole theme on the website. That's how you keep a consistency and overall, and it, you stand out. You're like, oh, I know who that person is. I recognize the color, the style, the whole thing that goes into it. What they say is time travel is possible because time is not really relevant. There is no such thing as time. We actually created the time to keep track of things. For the days, our, our, our uh, hours, uh, for the seconds. So we're basing it on the Earth and we're basing it on the rotation. But realistically, if you were to shoot out into a planet faster than the speed, the speed of light, a hundred times too fast, It'll take you a lot of years to get out there. By the time you return, within like a year or two, you'll still be the same age. Um, but you're gonna be back on time. So, say uh, we're in 2018, and somebody come back, 2000, uh, comes back 100 years later, that guy will be the same age because he went so fast. 
past that he broke the barrier. So it's not like he time traveled. He just stayed the same age, but time progressed while he, he was on stance. He went so fast. Not like Interstellar, or whatever that movie is. Interstellar? Uh, I, 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 I haven't forgot how it went, but he actually went because every uh, dimension is like a parallel. He tapped into the other parallel where that yeah, he found the existence. There's, there's more life on another dimension. That's where the, the whole uh, quantum leap is jumping into another one, but it's so damn fast. That's why they say black holes are, uh, are possibly a way to go into another dimension because it sucks you in and it shoots you so fast right through it. But if you put a human being in there, you won't survive. His, his internal organs will just rip apart. <laughs> That. You see, we're, we're based on with oxygen and gravity, so gravity puts down a, a lot on us. So as we age, we start to get like wrinkles and everything because gravity has been pulling on us that long. So that's the thing. There you go. We're gonna time travel now.
give me their ideas and the critiques. So it was a great um, way to showcase my work and learn from this. So a lot of the stuff I thought was like, no, I kind of like this painting, but everybody else was like, no, I like this one really. I was like, okay, but you know, I'm, I'm the worst critic. I'm very crucial on my work. And I got great feedback. The host, the, um, the curator, they loved my presentation. I made sure everything was right. My paintings were set right. My lighting was right. Uh, there's a lot of good talent here, and I love networking with everybody here. It was just a really wonderful experience. Yeah. Since I've known you, you've been such a hard worker, dedicated to anything you've done. And to see your artwork, I, I just think it's amazing. The amazing amount of work that you put in there. I spent a lot of time doing it for years, and that's one of the things you do non stop. Just keep being on your craft over and over and over, and good things come in, uh, to it. You know, I was contacted through my website, somebody saw my artwork and said, come to the art show. I was more than happy to come out, and I was uh, very lucky to have the opportunity to showcase my artwork. Now, for any other up and coming artist, entrepreneur, anyone that's starting to come up into any business of their, um, of their niche, what kind of advice do you have for them? I would say, don't be discouraged. Put out your artwork, get feedback, and go from there, because you gotta evolve, and you gotta practice your craft, because I had once started drawing, and my stuff is okay, but I got crucial feedback, and I took it as a good thing and positive way to go improve on how to do my work. And over the years, you keep on adding and adding up, and your stuff becomes better, and your artwork becomes second nature, you do it faster and better, people love it, and you learn from that experience, but never give up. Always be on your craft. There you go, never give up. Consistency, never give up. Words from a man that's never given up, right there. And be sure to visit my website. Uh, www.adamsantana.com There we go. Got it right there. Okay, there you have it, folks. We're heading out of here. That was such an amazing time. Beautiful artwork. Beautiful people. Man, I just had such a great time. Saw my good friend Adam. Beautiful artwork there for everyone. <laughs> There's a baby. Oh, look at the... There's a baby. Oh, you got a toy? You got a toy? You got a toy? Can I have the toy? And I have a new friend. Are you following me? Are you following me? Are you following me? And then you ignore me. And then you ignore me. Why do you ignore me? <laughs> hey, thank you for watching. Please uh, hit the like button, subscribe, and even share the video. You guys have a beautiful day.